It's a common question we receive, and we've even discussed it internally. Can a Raspberry Pi microcomputer power a Minecraft server? Well, today we're going to answer that question and provide you with all the tools that you need to get up and running. The links are in the description below, but please follow along with us throughout this video, and you're going to learn how to set it up and see how it performs. Here's what you're going to need. A Raspberry Pi 4 with either 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, a very good power supply, and active cooling since we're going to be overclocking your Raspberry Pi. To help get things started quickly, we'll use a micro SD card, but I want to be able to trust this storage. So that's why I'm going to go with a Kingston Endurance card, which is built specifically for write intensive applications. This feature is brought to you by Ameridroid.com. Get your Raspberry Pi 4 or other single board computer to power your Minecraft server at Ameridroid.com. American-based electronic sales, shipping, and support, visit Ameridroid.com. Now first up, you're going to need to install a Debian-based headless distro. So that means no desktop environment and no extra apps running. For the Raspberry Pi 4, the 64-bit of the Raspberry Pi OS Lite isn't available yet, so for now we're going to have to stick with the 32-bit. And this means that we're limited to only 4 gigabytes of RAM for Java. So buying the 8GB Pi 4 right away is fine for future readiness and the installer will accommodate this just fine and allow you to later upgrade to use more RAM once the 64-bit OS is released. But for now, there's really no advantage of the 8GB model over the 4GB. Because I needed a fancy name for the project and because this installer is built to work on any adequate SPC, such as the Pine 64, Rock Pro 64, I'm calling the project Pinecraft. It's simply not limited to the Raspberry Pi. So just make sure whatever system you intend to run it on is going to be dedicated and has at least 4 gigabytes of RAM. Let's get started turning our Raspberry Pi 4 into a dedicated Minecraft server. I've connected to my Raspberry Pi OS with SSH and the first thing that we need to do is install git. So that's sudo apt install git. Say yes. That's going to download git and install it for us. And now git is going to be a command on our system. So I can go git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash cat5tv slash and then the name of this project, which is Pinecraft. Like Minecraft, but it's going to work on Pine64 boards as well. So hit enter. Now we've got a folder. Keep in mind, I was in my home folder when I ran that command. So um, where I am now is slash home slash pi slash pinecraft. Now notice I'm using the pi user because I'm using a default install. So please, for goodness sake, as the pi user, type password. It's like password, but spelt kind of weird. And then hit enter. Enter your current password, which is raspberry, and enter a new password. Please, for goodness sake, do that because that is just common sense, um, never use the default password. That's one of the first things we're going to do. Um, so I digress. Look at the uh, folder here that we've uh, git cloned and you see a file called install. I'm not going to show you everything and explain everything here, but if you have any questions, get onto our Discord, go to category5.tv, click on interact. But what I've done here is I've basically um, scripted the entire process of setting up this Minecraft server using Spigot um, so that you don't have to go through each of these steps manually and so that this video isn't three hours long. Uh, so this is basically the automated process of how I was uh, able to get um, Minecraft up and running on a Raspberry Pi as well as possible. So it overclocks, it automatically does a whole bunch of stuff, detects how much RAM you have, what kind of operating system you're running, and so on and so forth. I'd encourage you anytime you're going to run any kind of installer script, hey, look at the code, um, find out what it's actually doing, and, and see. Uh, this also gives you a chance to trust what I'm doing here but also it just is uh, really good information and shows you exactly what I'm doing. Um, but this is basically just the installer, the script that's going to do it. It is well commented, so I think you won't have any trouble figuring out what it is that I'm doing there. However, if you have any questions, let us know. All right, so let's run it. I'm going to go sudo, because I need to be the root user in order to run this, dot slash install, because it's in the current folder. 
and it is executable. And then I need to specify my Linux user. So this is going to be who is going to be running the Minecraft server because we don't want that to be root, right? Uh, so if I type Robbie, for example, you'll see that Robbie does not exist. I haven't created that user. The only user on my Raspberry Pi is the Pi user, which is default because it's just like a vanilla uh, Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm going to instead type sudo dot slash install pi and hit enter. And there we go, it's running. So first thing we need to do is accept Mo Yang's um, EULA, the end user license agreement. So I've included the link there for you. Uh, you have to accept that in order to install. Um, now this is warning me, this is very important. Now, while my Raspberry Pi server that we're gonna be looking at uh, with the gameplay in just a few moments time is a Raspberry Pi with four gigs of RAM, I'm right now running this on one with eight gigs of RAM for the demonstration. So it's detected up here that I'm running the 32-bit OS, so I'm not actually gonna be able to get all eight gigs of RAM. I'm only gonna be able to use four, which is capping it off at 2.5 uh, gigabytes of RAM being used by the game. So that's fine, it's still gonna run great, but do keep in mind, if you've gone and bought the eight gig uh, version of the Raspberry Pi 4, you have to use the 64-bit OS. But why am I using the 32-bit OS then? It's because they haven't released the 64-bit Lite OS yet. So that is, uh, the desktop is currently in beta and we will inevitably see the Lite version of, uh, of the 64-bit. So keep that in mind. Keep watch for it. You can install this on your Pi right now, then back it up and then reinstall with the 64-bit once it's released and you'll be able to take advantage of all that RAM. In the meantime, it's gonna overclock to 1.9 gigahertz. The default is 1.5, so that's pretty good, but conservative uh, because I don't wanna void your warranty and I don't want to cause you any trouble with stability or anything like that. So uh, it's just warning me that I'm gonna uh, overwrite the config.txt file, which inevitably uh, when it does that, it also backs it up. So keep that in mind. You will find a new copy that has a date stamp in your slash boot on that drive. So if you get stuck, you're good to go. Uh, it's gonna install the server now. It's gonna go through anything that it needs to do. Um, first of all, it's downloading the installer for Spigot and it's gonna go through this process. This is gonna take some time. So I'm just gonna warp through time. There we have it. All the steps have been automated with the Pinecraft install script, and we're ready to start playing. It's really important for you to know and remember that you can't shut down or reboot a Minecraft server in the traditional Linux way. If you do, you're going to lose all the blocks that are in memory possibly a day or more of gameplay. So Pinecraft includes a couple handy scripts, including one called Reboot and one called Stop. Minecraft is all set and ready to go at load uh, as soon as you reboot. Uh, but of course we need to reboot. So we need to do that safely using the command sudo tilde slash Minecraft slash reboot. It's gonna store all the blocks to disk and reboot the Pi. That's the command you're gonna use from now on. Similarly, the stop command will safely store your blocks and stop the Minecraft the Minecraft server, uh, but leave it running so that you can either then halt the system or run a backup or something like that. Uh, so both of these commands can take several minutes. Um, just keep that in mind uh, because they're going to be storing several days possibly worth of blocks that are in your RAM to disk. So now that the new Raspberry Pi Minecraft server is rebooted, it's time. It's like the moment of truth. Let's try to connect. Absolutely flawless. Fantastic. Well, when we come back after the break, we're going to give it a real world test, connecting several players to a Raspberry Pi 4 Minecraft server. Stick around. it's time to check out the gameplay performance. Notice that we've got the CPU and RAM stats at the bottom of your screen, and that'll remain for the whole demonstration. All right, so I'm here at Jeff's place, and just gonna kind of quickly run around to show you that, you know, that this is performing very, very well. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, is the server, and I've 
overclocked it to 1.95 gigahertz. It's got four gigs of RAM and a Kingston uh, Endurance micro SD card. All right, so I wanted to show the performance with just me. Uh, everything looks pretty good. And, and here at Jeff's place, Jeff, I guess things should be performing it poorly here, if anywhere, right? Because you've got all these animals and stuff and lots That's of moms. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, I tried to, to to build a base that was busy enough with lots of elements. And so there's lots of animals making noise in the background. I wanted to try and tax the server out. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's see what happens as we start to add players, because I think that was one of the questions that came up when you and I were first discussing this project, was yes. you know, what, how many players are going to be able to come on here? All right, and uh, I think I'm last to join. Here's Fox 70 yeah. Oh yeah, Jeff, maybe it'd be nice if you could join, <laughs> eh? <laughs> there he is. Just a random voice. All right. Hey, the oh. one. So check this out, Why so we've got... Again? <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people online at once on a Raspberry Pi 4 server. And a chicken and a whole bunch of uh, animals in the background. And there's, I'm not seeing a single glitch at all. No glitches. Bye. It's hard to see right now because it is late, late, late at night. And in order to, wow, you're good. Uh, in order to speed through the night we all have to have a bed and Jeff only has the one bed at his place so yes all right all right so we can follow keep the one oh okay you've got a shield I do not but I will I'm gonna be like your videographer <laughs> nice. done oh creepers let's avoid that yeah these guys these are the guys that if you get too close they explode when you're oh, being followed by a spider too and a bunch of creepers. Oh, oh that was okay. That was effective. And I see an Enderman, the shadow of an Enderman. Oh, somebody's. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Chaos ensues. <laughs> Yummy. Oh no. The okay, and oh, I, God. I used the bed at your place, so. Oh, you're human. Oh, and there's zombies everywhere, and I have no weapons, dude. <laughs> okay. We may have to just... I'm uh, coming. Wait out the oh. night. Yeah, you may have to. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there's an Enderman. Yes! I got an iron sword! Finally! Congratulations. Do you guys see my stuff? Did you have uh, iron sword, pants, and shoes? Yeah, exactly, but then I died out in front of my house. I think Hinger may have collected your stuff, um, bald nerd. I just killed a, um, zombie and it had my... No, I did not pick up any. All that I have is rotten flesh. Oh, I got it. Here's my stuff. Oh, that was, that was from the zombie. That was from the zombie, I think. So, bald nerd, did you have this armor here? That uh, Hinger's wearing? The Hinger is wearing? <laughs> yes. That's the armor uh, that the zombie dropped. No, that was the armor that I dropped. Yeah, the zombie picked it up. I did not know zombies could pick up you. <laughs> <laughs> um, our viewers can see that the performance is like, this is probably better than uh, more time, or you would know because you've played on a lot of online servers. How's the performance of our mine, Minecraft server on a Raspberry Pi uh, compared to some of those online servers? Better, actually. Uh, this is better? Yeah, I would yeah. agree. I, I have... That's um, what I've been told. There's way less players, though. Well, there is, True. but I mean, there, I have a, a free server that uh, I've used with my kids, and we get lag issues when it's just the four of us on. So the fact that this is a Raspberry Pi and there's what nine of us? It's sorry, fun. my 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 internet just dropped out, so I lost you for a second there. You were talking, oh. Jeff. Well, I was just saying that I have a, um, a, a free server that I use with my kids. Oh, okay, like online, like a cloud yeah, server. Yeah, online. Or? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and it is um, it can be quite laggy sometimes when it's just the yeah. four of us. So right. this performs exceptionally better than that. 
Yeah, and I've, like I've also paid for servers where it's, you know, $60 a year. And this yeah. is better performance. You don't have much in the way of armor, but uh, are you interested in following me into the nether just for a quick tour? Uh, sure, because that should be a performance hit, right? That's loading yep. another world. Yep. And then we're going to have multiple people in that world and multiple people in this one. Yeah, nice. let's do it. All right. Boom. Instantaneous load. So just be careful where you walk because uh, you don't want to fall into the lava. Yeah, I'll say. All right. So look at the world gen. Now, why is it? That's not snow. That's like from Stranger Things. Yeah. The, it's, it's the weird like stuff that's just kind of floating. Yeah, yeah. OK. I'm just astounded. <laughs> what happened? Don't swim in lava. That is not recommended. What was Where that? Where did you die? <laughs> were you Were you here what? with us? Yes. All right. I am so impressed with how well this world gens. Like, there's zero issues. I was expecting, now I've I, I have no experience with Minecraft, but I've seen the lag that causes the world gen to kind of stutter yep. um, on other servers. So I was expecting that because this is just a single board computer. That's right. But it's running great. It's running very, very well. Apparently this is the place to stand. I'm like safe from the <laughs> rain right here. Oh. All around me. You fell. Yeah, I, I put a cactus on top and it collapsed. What? I yeah, afford- I would avoid against touching cactus. <laughs> yeah. No, I no, it's not the cactus that killed me. I had cactus in my inventory and then I dropped them on the ground. And like I placed it on the ground on top of the sand that I was standing on. And then the sand collapsed and then I fell into the... Um, yeah. You know what I'm so, hearing here, Jeff? What? Like, I mean, we're we're the dads that are, you know, the, the performance is really, really great on a single board computer, but the kids are having fun. Well, exactly. I've got my three kids sitting beside me, and they're they're having a blast. So yeah. this is good. Awesome. I think it's a mission success, my friend. Hooray!